Did you know that art glass is one of the true American art forms? Let's take a look at the history of how art glass got its beginnings. It started in 1881 with a man from Brooklyn, New York, named Louis Comfort Tiffany. He was born into the family which owned the famous jewelry store Tiffany & Company in New York City. Louis Comfort Tiffany would spend the entire day observing how the sun would shine on the flowers and through the branches of the trees. He wanted to capture the effects of the sun on the botanical world. This interplay of lighting and free-flowing designs of nature brought on the period which is known as Art Nouveau. Tiffany's ambition was to recreate the beauty of the botanical world through the use of colored glass. When he started, he found the glass that was available was inadequate for his needs. As a result, because of his great wealth, he assembled artisans from around the world to develop the types of glass that would help him realize his dream. He innovated a technique of ladling molten glass onto a table that would then be rolled out onto flat sheets with steel rolling pins. These sheets of glass were the building blocks for which all designs could be made. Color experimentation led him to mixing precious metals, such as gold and silver, to create exotic colors like orange, red, and yellow. These unusual treatments of glass textures and the mixture of colors are the trademark for Louis Comfort Tiffany Originals and are known as art glass, which is the essential ingredient in high-quality reproduction glass. Quazelle has captured the beauty and the standards laid down by Louis Comfort Tiffany in the creation of the Quazelle Collectible, not only to be appreciated by seeing its beauty, but to be cherished as an heirloom for a lifetime. Hello, my name is Todd Phillips, president of Quazelle. Art glass lighting has proven to be the most dynamic and exciting signature category for Quazelle for many, many years now. Art glass lamps are also known as Tiffany lamps because they were produced by Louis Comfort Tiffany back in the 1800s. However, the only pieces that can be called a true Tiffany are the ones made by Louis Comfort Tiffany, and you'll know that by the labels that are inside each of those shades. These originals sell for starting at $10,000 to $1 million at auction at Sotheby's. Now today there are many companies that are producing these lighting products, but only Quazelle has the reputation for the quality and for the workmanship, which makes our product the most closely equal to that of Lewis Comfort Tiffany Designs. And for that reason we have trademarked our product with our own label, and we call it Quazelle Collectibles. Quazelle begins with the finest glass available. Glass making is an ancient art. In fact, glass beads have been discovered that are believed to be more than 4,000 years old. Glass is made primarily of sand, soda ash, and lime. Different colors can be produced by adding metallic oxides, such as aluminum, copper, gold, or iron. A carefully measured mixture of these materials is shoveled into clay pots within a furnace that exceeds temperatures of 2400 degrees Fahrenheit, where it melts into a white-hot molten mass. The molten glass is then ladled onto a table where different color batches are sometimes mixed together. It is then sent through rollers to make it into a sheet. Textures are sometimes applied with special rollers. The final step of glass making is the cooling process or annealing. The glass sheet is sent through an annealing oven to cool slowly and evenly to prevent the glass from shattering. The best way for you to appreciate the true value of the products that you see before you is to observe an artisan at work creating one of these beautiful heirlooms. We start by selecting a shape and a design that we're going to make. We then take the patterns that make up that design and individually cut out each one, which will ultimately be a template for tracing out that design onto the ultimate stained glass. The artisan very carefully traces the pattern onto the glass surface, preparing to make his cut line on the pattern itself. The next step is to score around the very detailed lines of the pattern in order to ultimately break away the excess glass leaving the pattern glass itself. 
It's very important that each of the patterns are exactly the same so that they fit directly onto the pattern so that all the pieces will ultimately fit together properly. The next step is to take the cut piece of glass and to grind away all the sharp edges away from that surface, ensuring a perfect right angle cut that contours the pattern. Once the piece is completely ground, it is then placed onto its respective template to make sure that it stays within the lines of that pattern. After all the glass is ground and we've laid it onto the template, we then need to take each of the pieces again, clean them off, and prepare for the next process of copper foiling. This is a process whereby we use a copper foil to surround the glass and this metallic surface that allows us to connect all the pieces together. As you can see, the artisan is rolling the copper around the contour of the glass very carefully making sure to keep the cop foil centered, allowing him to later roll over the edges and burnish the copper foil down so that we can get the adhesion that we need between each of the pattern pieces. And now he's continuing to burnish down the edges, making sure to get out all the creases and keeping the copper foil centered. Very painstaking process and very important to make sure that all of the copper foil is laid down evenly to ensure a good fit. As you can see, each and every single pattern piece has to be copper foiled and then put back into their place making sure that everything fits properly. On some of the designs we have as many as 3,000 pieces and still each small piece has to be individually copper foiled. The next process is to assemble each of the individual copper foiled pieces onto the surface of a fiberglass form. They're allowed to stick by using a wax material that's put on the back of the glass and by pressing into the form sticks immediately to that surface. This allows the artisan to rearrange the pieces perfectly in place trying to get out any of the gaps that might exist wanting to ensure a perfectly laid down solder line. The next process is the application of the flux which you see being applied to the copper foil edges and that ensures a very clean and easy flow of the solder once we apply that to the copper foil. The next process is to apply lead-free solder, perfectly safe solder, that is applied by tacking each of the pieces initially so that they stay in place while the rest of the piece can be fully soldered. So this is just the very initial stages of the soldering. And it's not until the whole design is tacked down that he can go to the next process. The next process, after all of the parts have been soldered together, is to remove the shade from the mold and to start the process all over again. After fluxing, we need to solder each of the joints again to strengthen the integrity of the shade, making sure that we have solder both on the outside and inside. You'll notice also that there's a reinforcing ring that's used around the outside rim of the shade in order to fortify and strengthen the overall shade so that it doesn't bend out of shape. The last process is applying a patina on the silver solder which adds the bronze coloration which is very indicative of the original Tiffany's 
And after that process is done, the shades are cleaned, taking off all the excess patina. And the last process is then putting a very fine wax finish on the surface to protect the lead solder from any further oxidation. In the final stage of the manufacturing, we solder a brass vase cap to the very top of the shade. And then our inspectors meticulously look very closely for any imperfections in the glass or in the construction of the product. One of the most frequently asked questions is, is this really glass or is it plastic? And the fact of the matter is, this is more expensive glass than that of crystal itself. The reason that it has this deadening sound to it is because it's connected with a network of over 2,000 pieces. And that really doesn't allow it to sound like you think that glass should sound. If I can demonstrate on a piece of crystal, this is what we're used to hearing. But the fact of the matter is, once you connect this up together, like all of the solder joints that you see here, when you hit the glass, it has that same deadening sound to it, and it feels that same way. So rest assured, the Koizo collectibles are always made of real art glass. What are the things that really distinguish the Koizo Collectible from all others? Well, let's take a look. You'll see here that we have created this beautiful floral design, which has a very dimensional, lifelike image to it. And we can create that because of the amount of pieces that we use to develop this beautiful detail. We use gradations of colors, which also makes like the flower is coming out from the vine. So the colors that you pick and the amount of pieces that you use is what truly makes our products look authentic. Now in contrast to that, when you look at our competitors' products, you'll see that they use very large pieces of glass and there's very little gradation of color to develop this floral design, so it's very flat and lifeless. So be aware of the differences between a Koizel collectible and the competition. Another important quality characteristic of the Koizel Collectible is the consistency of the silver beading that connects and joins all of these 2,000 pieces. Note that today, we only use solder that is lead free. Now the beading has to be consistent so that when you look down the line of a bead that you can see through here, it should pretty much be the same width. If you look at our competitor's product, you'll see that it goes from thick to thin and that is not the mark of a quality piece. Not only is it important to have the fluid line on the outside of the shade, but it's important on the inside as well. And if you'll notice that we put all of our solder on the inside, reinforcing the product so that it becomes stronger and it's much more finished looking. And that's the sign of a Koizel collectible. This is the primrose design, and it's an excellent example of a more intricate design. It's made with over 2,000 pieces of individually cut art glass. But what makes it truly unique is the fact that it's made up of multicolor art glass designs. You'll see here purples and browns in combinations with yellow that are all within the one given piece, and it gives a real lifelike quality to this flower. Also, textured glass, like this rippled glass piece right here, is another identification of art glass products. So what makes this piece so valuable is the fact that we use so many different pieces to create this design, and that we use very unusual art glass, which gives us a multitude of different colors, and we use textured ripple glass. And this is the trademark of the Koizel Collectible. Another feature of the Koizel Collectible is our authentic bronze patina finish. And as in this and all of our fixtures, we match, coordinate all of these component parts. Starting with the table lamp from the finial to the vase cap to the pull chain and onto the base, all these coordinated parts creates a very authentic finish. 
One of the other elements that makes the Quasel collectible so unique is that we use materials like colored glass jewels, like you see here, which adds additional texture and dimension to our shades, which increases the value of our products. And that's the trademark of a Quasel collectible. Every Quasel collectible design has a distinctive tag and a label bearing the name of the Coisel collectible. As you can see here, they are soldered on to the inside of every single shade that we make. In addition to that, we have an exclusive collection called the Laurelton Collection, like the piece right here, which is an exact reproduction of a Lewis Comfort Tiffany. We provide you with a certificate of authenticity with every single piece, which verifies that everything about this piece from the color to the size to the design is exactly like the Lewis Comfort Tiffany original. Our Coisel collectibles are designs that are investments for today and the antiques of tomorrow to be handed down from generation to generation. Although Coisel is known for traditional Tiffany lighting, there's no question that the fashion changes that we see has really inspired us to move in some much more contemporary directions. Some of the examples we have here is a collection called the Prairie Collection, which utilizes the look of a pottery base, much more fluid in its form, and using resin as a material, unlike the metal uh, and, and the bronze uh, materials that were used back in the old days. Uh, we've also done a very unusual layering of the stained glass for the shade. Uh, it actually is built on layers. The piece to the right of me is indicative of the turn of the century, uh, the Craftsman uh, series that has a little bit more contemporary look to it. This is an oval shade that utilizes mica, which is like a shale, which is layered in many, many different layers. And then you see solid brass is actually put on as an overlay design to create a design against this, uh, this very beautiful color backdrop. The base itself, again, goes into a more fluid form, indicative of that same pottery era, and you'll see the mica tag that accompanies that on each of these pieces describing the actual materials themselves. Some of the other materials that are being utilized are jade, uh, stone, uh, obviously art glass, Ceramics are being used on some of our bases now, and resin is one of the predominant materials because it can be formed so easily. So these new applications are something that you can continue to look for from Coisel as we try to stay up with the times and the trends and still utilize uh, the Tiffany designs of the old era. One of the concerns that some people have is that the colors in a Tiffany might not match exactly the interior of your home. But today, with all the designs going very eclectic, with different materials and colors, you shouldn't be afraid of that at all. Tiffany's really should be a conversation piece in your home where it has splashes of all these beautiful colors. So although you might not have greens and blues in your interior, even little splashes of red and white, this will really be very, very elegant in any room and uh, will add a lot of life to it. One of the other things that's important to note about the Quasel collectibles is that many of our designs have families of product and that allows us to apply to many different places in the home, both over kitchen tables, uh, little piccolo pendants, which are nice little accent pieces, multi-light fixtures that can be used in entranceways, uh, flush mounts and semi-flush mounts. So the fact that we have families of product you have many different applications that you can apply to the consumer's needs. One of the frequently asked questions is, why is there an oily film on the shades when they come out of the box? Well, the fact of the matter is that's put on to protect the solder and also to create a nice soft luster throughout the whole shade. And there's nothing wrong with keeping it, except that it does tend to attract dirt. So the recommendation is to take a damp cloth, never any chemicals, secure the shade, and then rub down the glass and the bead 
to remove most of that oil, trying to leave the oil that you do on the beaded area. What you can do for the ongoing care as that oil wears off is that you can use linseed oil, again using the same damp cloth, and applying it back onto the piece, um, and then you will maintain a very beautiful luster. With the proper care, your Quezel collectible will last for generations. Art glass work is a very precise and demanding craft. Quezel has captured the beauty and the standards originated by Louis Comfort Tiffany in the Quezel collectible. Each exquisite piece of art is an investment of today, as it is made with the care and quality to ensure its lasting value as a cherished family heirloom for many generations.